Hello everyone and welcome back to the uh, channel. Today I'm going to be talking about the new CW Pencils box and it is the Back to School box. So, um, let's just read this here real quick. It says, hello, it's no secret that Back to School time is one of our favorite times of the year. So it's a total no-brainer to do a grown-up Back to School theme box this quarter. We hope you'll be as giddy as about the contents as we are, to quote Tom Hanks in You've Got Mail. Don't you love New York in the fall? It makes me want to buy school supplies. We couldn't agree more. Fondly, the crew. So, get this little thing off of here. Um, oh, looks like we got another one of these. A little postcard. That's cool. Let's stick that under the box. I, I decided to come outside today because it's just too nice. So, we'll get into this as we get into the things. Let's see here. Uh, looks like a nice little pencil case and a ruler and an eraser. Looks old. And that yellow stuff everywhere. Let's see. General purpose case. Uh, what it says in the thing about it Japanese. Nahi cases are made of plastic, so they're easy to keep clean. Each one is big enough for all the essentials and has a couple pockets. So, yeah. Nice couple few pockets in there for things. I like the color. I like the color a lot. Um, it's got a nice little back pocket. It looks like an old checkbook uh, thing that my grandma used to have. Um, but, yeah, these are really nice. Cool. Set that aside. Uh, this glue stick... Uh, Cochina, Cocoina, I'm not sure how to say that, Cochina, I don't know, anyway, um, since 1927, it's been an Italian icon for design and function, uh, the best part, smells like almonds and is made of potato starch, so it's totally non-toxic, uh, I'm just going to open this and give it a whiff. Yeah, it smells like almonds. <laughs> it smells like amaretto. That's really cool. Um, so, yeah, this is a Kimberly eraser from Generals. It says, Vintage Generals Eraser. These nearly 40-year-old erasers are from old stock from General Pencil Company's warehouse. They're in pristine condition and are branded for, for their flagship drawing pencil. I wonder if this will erase or if it's just in pristine condition as far as, uh, you know, it, like the printing and everything um, it feels really soft though still I wonder how they would keep it from drying out it's interesting uh, let's look at this thing real quick before we get to the pencils well, we'll do the ruler here um, yeah I don't know how to say that Kyoe Orion's grid ruler Used as a straight edge or a measuring tool, it's perfect pencil size, pencil case sized and made in Japan. It's really cool. It's pretty hefty, seems like. I'm not gonna open it up just yet. Um, okay, Barclay cursive writing tablet, 42 sheets. Uh, recently, we dis discovered this treasure in an outing to Barclay School Supply in Brooklyn. We love that the line width is slimmer than usual and it's perfect for playing with handwriting styles. Let's take a look. So it's top bound. Let's see here. Oh, yeah. So it's kind of like, you know, like the old printed. Uh, ones that you get in uh, grade school, but it's a little bit thinner. Yeah, that's really nice. Wonder how the paper is. Let's see. I'll have to test it out. Okay, to the pencils. Alright. Let's see here. First off, we'll go with this highlighter pencil. Highline Neon Color Marker. Let's 
There we go. Usually these Japanese plastic wrap things have an opening at the bottom. Okay. Let's see here. Katsua. It's got a sharpener. Oh yeah, that's really nice. Deidre from the Weekly Pencil is really going to love this. A nice little sharpener. See how that works later. Let's see what they say about it. Suistad highlighter pencil. This pencil is the ultimate all-in-one for your highlighting needs and with its handy sharpener cap. These are great for use in books. Um, let's see, we got a Tombow mark sheet HB. Uh, I'll put a link to my review of uh, this versus the Mitsubishi mark sheet uh, in the um, test scoring pencil uh, uh, roundup I did a few weeks ago. So um, you can read more about that here or there, but um, it'll be down in the description. But mark sheet or test scoring, as we know them, are formulas specifically for Scantron testing, expect it to be dark and smooth, and they definitely are. Let's see here, we got a Statler Norris with an eraser. I have a few of these. I do like their erasers, they're actually really good. Um, I, I was surprised at how good they were because they looked really dry, but then when I used it, uh, I tended to find that I liked it a lot. It, it worked really well, kind of similar to like a good generals like semi hex eraser those are pretty good erasers um, so I like if this is factory sharpen this is a really great factory sharpen it almost looks like it's sharpened with a El Casco or something you know like on the shortest point but I don't think it is anyway um, let's see here what's next we'll get to this one um, it's got the alphabet upper and lower case and in cursive and it looks like in cursive and standard print or type anyway okay so this is the Viarco handwriting pencil made in Portugal this is a reminder to practice your penmanship it uh, this reminder to practice your penmanship is a re-release vintage design so and then we have this one and this is probably my favorite here um, the Futura pencil just because that's one of my favorite fonts for sure um, and this is uh, kind of the Trirex style of uh, let's see if we can get this in focus or not yeah the Trirex style here where it's like a rounded triangle with three larger sides and then three smaller sides so um, let's see what it says here Futura pencil it says this pencil is a reproduction of a mid-century favorite originally made by the Richard Best Pencil Company, the inventor of the triangular pencil. We tweaked the design to make it our own and had it made in Tennessee by Moon Products, who own the rights to Mr. Best's work. Right, so uh, this is amazing. I wonder if they had them make this pink or if it was always pink before. It's got a nice little pink ferrule, a standard pink eraser. Oh, man, this thing is great. love this I love this okay so that's the whole box I uh, got a highlighter pencil four pencils here whoops get that sticky on there a couple things that you can get like this mono mark sheet is a little bit harder to get than like say the Mitsubishi mark sheet but you can get uh, them uh, this is pretty easy to get. This is a cool little vintage thing from Viarco. I know they work really closely with Viarco, so uh, this is a neat little thing to to get. Let's see, Viarco Portugal, that's cool. And then this, having them make this for them is just awesome. Uh, you can hear my dog digging around in the leaves down there in the bushes. A uh, nice little old school general pencil company eraser. We get a glue stick that smells like almonds. Um, we got this ruler. Um, this is pretty nice. This might come in handy actually. Um, we got a cursive writing tablet. Got a pencil case to hold it all in. And as a bonus, got another 
postcard that you can color in and I think if you send it back to them they do something with them I'm not sure exactly what but yeah so that's the box the back to school box uh, it's really nice really cool um, I'll do uh, I you know it's got a lot of stuff and a lot more stuff than some of the others um, $30 not sure still I'd have to look and see what some of the things cost but you know it's it seems about as it's like a, the standard um, kind of amount of things that they've been coming with the first one box was a little light they kind of up the second box uh, the Japanese box and then this one is got around the same amount of things so um, yeah this is really neat okay so that's it that's the CW pencil box um, thanks for watching the channel if you like what you saw here please give me a thumbs up or hit the subscribe button down there and uh, we'll have more videos uh, very soon uh, check out the blog um, for the mono review I talked about and uh, I may get some more of these whoops just dropped that mono I may get some more of these maybe if they if they start to sell them on their website and maybe do a review of these because these are really great so all right thanks for watching Thank <laughs> you.